five billion. That's how many times videos are watched on YouTube every single day. With the platform helping thousands of creators go viral, we wanted to see if there was a set formula for making a hit video. To figure out what works on YouTube, let's take a look at the 10 most watched videos. Nine out of 10 are music videos, and the trend continues. Music videos make up 94 of the top 100, and it isn't some strange coincidence. People spend more time listening to music on YouTube than Spotify, Apple Music, and Tidal combined. YouTube has become a popular destination for music because it's just so easy. That's Chris Malamphy. He's a pop chart analyst and host of the Hit Parade podcast, which dissects how the top hits made their way up the charts. And the reason why music video in particular has taken off is, again, the length, the fact that it's professionally produced content. It's, it's just right for consumption on a platform like YouTube. Back in the day, MTV was the primary way to watch music videos. You would have the channel on and wait for your favorite music videos to play. Now we have the ability to play any music video whenever we want. Since the most popular videos are almost all music videos, it seems the fastest way to a billion views is a music video. But before you have a music video, you need a song millions of people want to listen to. Right now, rhythmically, there's a trend towards this rhythm that you might call the Dembo rhythm, and this is something you can hear in a lot of top 40 pop songs and a lot of the top YouTube videos. It's a rhythm that you'll probably recognize. It sounds something like this. Highly syncopated, immediately kind of makes you want to nod your head and tap your feet. And for at least the present moment right now, this Dembo rhythm seems a surefire way to get yourself a top song. That's Nate Sloan. He's a musicologist and the host of Switched On Pop, a podcast about the making and meaning of popular music. If we look at some of the top YouTube videos, they have global elements within them. Uh, Ed Sheeran's Shape of You, for example, is all constructed around the sound of a kalimba, which is uh, an African thumb piano. The top YouTube video of all time right now, Despacito, features a Puerto Rican guitar in the intro, this very characteristic Caribbean sound. And then Gangnam Style, which has no English lyrics whatsoever, except for the titular chorus, is a huge hit, and that's because we're more and more interested in global sounds. We're not just confined to the music of our own culture today. YouTube is accessible to anyone around the world. So if you expand your sound to be more global and inclusive, your chances of a hit song might increase. If you want a viral hit, you're gonna have to reach beyond your immediate culture. Okay, we've got some ingredients needed for the song. What about the video? If there were a formula for success on YouTube, I'm sure someone would have patented it by now. To sound a bit old school about it, talent still matters, uh, and the ability to present yourself or to present what Simon Cowell would famously call the X factor, uh, the qualities of a star, uh, both in terms of your ability to play, your ability to sing, your ability to present yourself compellingly. Um, these uh, factors all matter the same as they always have. Even if the video doesn't hit a billion views, and odds are that it won't, don't be discouraged. The video is still going to represent you and your music. Some artists who have succeeded because of YouTube have done it not so much by creating their own music videos, but using YouTube as, in effect, an audition reel. A&R teams now scour YouTube looking for the next major pop star. Your video doesn't necessarily have to be polished uh, to make you a YouTube star. Justin Bieber's first video was just him singing on his couch. It led to him being discovered by Usher and becoming a worldwide pop star. 